Have you ever heard of age determination? People hear a number in their head and they automatically come up with this little picture that tells them all about that person. So you hear 80 and there you go, maybe 70, maybe 60, maybe even 50. But not only do people preconceive what someone is going to look like physically, they are also going to preconceive what that person can do physically. But what about if you're the one sabotaging yourself? Have you ever used your age as a get out of jail free card? Have you ever said to somebody, oh, I'm 59, I can't do that. In today's video, I'm gonna give you five tips to ensure that age really is just a number. I'm not saying that we can stop aging and we can't cheat aging either, but we can live healthfully for as long as possible. We have already come so far. When I look back to celebrities, for example, when I was a young woman and I looked at them and I thought, holy mackerel, how old is that person? Now I know some of that has to do with the fact that I was way younger and when I'm looking at them, they looked really old. But let's see what their ages really were and let's be thankful about how far we've come. We have to kick this idea right to the curb of how we're supposed to be at a certain age. I have to tell you that in my limited YouTube career, one of the things that really irks me in social media is when people say to me, you need to act your age. You know what? Dress your age, act your age. You know what? Who the heck are they? No, we can be the best that we want to be. The very first number one tip at the top of the heap, use it or lose it. We have got to stay active. I'm not going to tell you how to stay active, whether you're walking or you're running or you're cycling or you're hiking, it doesn't really matter. So keep your heart pumping, try to get some cardiovascular in, you know, at least three, four times a week, if not more. And that will ensure that you have the stamina to just keep on going. Number two, balance. This sounds like maybe not such an important thing, but this is huge. Improving your balance can be as simple as practicing standing on one foot. See how long you can do that and then switch to the other side. This can have a huge effect. Another easy one that you can practice is heel to toe walking. Something that you can challenge yourself with at home is called the old man test. We have to bend down, pick up one sock on one foot, put the sock on, bend down, pick up the, the shoe, tie it up, and not until that shoe is tied up can we put that foot down and then we repeat on the other side without touching anything along the way. Let me know in the comments. Give it a try. Let me know how you did. I'm really interested to find out. We need to be able to maintain our balance because if there is a fall, that's going to affect our mobility and the snowball effect will overwhelm us. So it's important. Spend a couple of minutes every day working on your balance and you will definitely reap the rewards. Number three, muscle tone. Is it a fact that we lose muscle as we age? Yes, but are we just going to take that? Are we just going to sit on the couch and take the fact that we're going to be losing muscle tone? Hell no. All strength training is essential. Body weight is great. And you know what? I still think that there's a place for light weights. You know what? They're not much, but it's the repetition. It's the high reps that are going to fatigue the muscles. So don't forget, these ones are still good. Don't, we don't have to poo poo these all together. When you're using your leg muscles, you can carry heavier weight. So deadlifts. These bigger muscle groups can certainly carry more weight. Bicep curls. 
anything that's really going to get your muscles fatigued. Overhead shoulder press. Do what's good for you at your level at this time, but just make sure that you do incorporate two to three times of strength training every week. Do you know what? You can have no muscle tone when you're in your 20s if you're just a couch potato. So the fact that we do physiologically start to lose muscle tone as we age, let's cut that off at the pass and make sure that we are doing strength training, be it body weight, light weights, heavy weights, we need to incorporate that. It's equally, if not more important than cardio. It protects our bones, it increases our metabolism. There are so many benefits to strength training. So please do not forget about strength training. That is going to really help you as you age and ensure your quality of life. Number four, range of motion. This is also vitally important. We have to be able to move our bodies. I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite stretches that I do over and over again that really help me in my specific areas that I need help with my range of motion. Of course, the forward fold is something that we can always continue to get better at. Gives a good stretch through the calves and the hamstrings and the back spinal area. Probably my most favorite stretch, and one because I do suffer a lot with issues with my hip flexor, is this lunge, being in this lunge position, pushing the pelvic area forward, raising the same arm that you're on your knee, and then stretching over. This gives a great stretch down the side through that whole front hip flexor, which is an area that I really feel that I get a lot of tightness in. And of course, we always do what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. Another good one is figure four, lying, really pulling down through that whole glute area, and then putting the arm out and looking the other way for a good spinal twist. I like this rendition of the lying figure four, stretching across, bringing that full stretch through here, and then leaning and looking the other way. We've got a, a twist, we've got the stretch, and you can even pull a little bit more on this leg to deepen the stretch through your hamstring and glute. So the last thing that I've been kind of doing here and there that I'm really liking is the resting squat. And it's something that's been around like forever. And if you can go down, because you know, squatting is something that when we're getting in and out of the car, or you know, it's, it's a position that we are in a lot. And if you can actually bring yourself down this way with trying to keep your heels on the floor as well. Kind of give myself a little bit of a rotation. It's great for my inner thighs and, you know, just not crunched over like this, but with some good posture, this is a natural resting position. And I've been really enjoying it. Even when I'm watching TV, I mean, I can't stay down here forever, but I really am liking it and feel amazing stretching in my lower area. Many of us are waking up stiff and unable to move, but let's not just wave the white flag there. We can do stretching exercises on a regular basis. I've downloaded the Bend app. It's worked very well for me. Incorporating these range of motion exercises into your daily routine will help with the stiffness and put the pain at bay. Remember motion is lotion. Number five is our weight. Now, this is kind of an interesting one because for many of us, as we age, our appetite starts to diminish. It has not happened to me yet. Let me just tell you that. But if you're over 50 and over 60 or plus, this is not the time for drastic dieting. You do not want to go on any kind of like crazy cut it down to 500 calorie diet or anything like that. It's really not the time because you will lose the muscle tone. I believe the thing to do is to just try to come in with a slight calorie deficit over a longer period of time while incorporating more motion and strength training so that your calorie deficit overall will help you to lose weight. Extreme dieting is not the way to go. Look to decrease your portion sizes eat less processed food, increase your veggies and fruit and fiber, make sure you're getting your protein. 
And whatever you do, don't forget the fats. We still need fats. Even if you're trying to lose weight, you still need the healthy fats because don't forget, we still have to worry about our mind and our cardio and our skin and our tone and all of those things. So cutting out fats, although they're calorie dense, they are still very, very important. Maintaining a healthy weight is gonna help us dramatically to enact the four other tips that we've already discussed. It's gonna put less stress on your cardiovascular system, less stress on your muscular system, less stress on your skeletal system, all of these things, not to mention the fact that the body positivity is gonna make you feel so much better and uplifting. And you know what? Hey, our mind is three quarters of it too. As a special bonus tip, I'm gonna tell you to healthy, happy aging, keep your sense of humor. Because you know what? If you can't laugh at yourself, you're in big trouble. You know what? Stuff happens all the time, crap happens. And I generally just have a good old chuckle, usually at myself. We've talked about lifestyle and we've talked about diet and we've talked about exercise, but of course there's other things at play, smoking, drinking, genetics also comes into play, but don't sell yourself short. You are not too old and you're never too old to make changes. You can't cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water. You gotta jump in. Remember, you don't stop playing because you're getting old. You get old because you stop playing. I hope that you enjoyed the video, maybe picked up a couple of tips or two that you can implement so that we can enjoy going along this life road together and putting our best foot forward. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.